What's going on people? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another video for you guys today. The uploads just keep coming and keep coming and we already know how big of a week this is for Chelsea. Yesterday we saw the first of the three projected signings that we were meant to be seeing this week arrive and be finally confirmed. Ben Chilwell was confirmed yesterday at 5pm. Today is meant to be Thiago Silva's medical, so I'm not sure if he's going to be announced today as well. And if he isn't announced today, it's guaranteed to be tomorrow. And then we're just going to be waiting on Kai Havertz. And it's literally just a case of when, not if, with him. So it's exciting times to be a Chelsea fan. But as usual, you already know with Chelsea, it's never really a clean, plain sailing road. There's always going to be some sort of bobbles and potholes over the way. And... Frank Lampard has had yet another kick in the teeth. We're going to talk about that and delve deeper into that in this video. We're also going to talk about Thiago Silva's medical and a potential move that Leeds have made which might impact their interest in Mishi Batshuayi, which they had generated in the last couple of weeks. So we're going to talk about all that. But you already know what the title is, so we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But before I start this video, I just want to say, like I always do, if you guys haven't done so already, press that like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. I want to try and hit 20k very soon. I got to 10k a lot quicker than I expected. And you guys have been smashing those buttons as well. So big up all you guys who have liked and subscribed. But if you haven't done so already, please just press that button. And also press the bell notification button to be the first to know whenever I release any new content on this channel. Now... Let's go straight into the big news coming from yesterday. And Chelsea's preseason plans have taken a massive kick in the teeth with the news that after eight Chelsea players now have to go into quarantine after being found positive with the virus. I'm not going to say what the, the virus is because I don't want to get demonetized, but we know what the virus is. Like, unless you've been living in a rock or you've been sleeping the whole of 2020, you know what I mean when I reference the virus. So, eight Chelsea players are now self isolated after being found positive. I actually think it's six players that were found positive and another two that were in very close contact with a couple of those players that are now self-isolating just to be safe. But yeah, that's a, a big impact on our pre-season plans. We had a game against Brighton on Saturday, so we're going to be missing a lot of our first team for that. And for a lot of us, we were trying to figure out why we'd only seen a certain amount of players in training photos. This is probably the reason why. And it's not going to impact us too much when we're talking about the first team because there's not really a lot of first team players but it is still going to be a big kick in the first team anyway because eight players you're still going to feel that especially with the fact that most of them are all outfield players. The rumoured players that are self-isolating are including Tomori, Mason Mount, Christian Pulisic and Tammy Abraham who went on a trip to Mykonos together a few weeks ago and have had, now had to self-isolate as a result of that. Didn't get in 20 fights as well. Not our club. Uh, Chelsea target Declan Rice was also rumoured to be part of the group that went to Mykonos with them. And again, Chelsea poaching as per. And because of that, I think Declan Rice is also self-isolating with Ryan Fredericks at West Ham, who I think was in either in self either in close contact with Declan Rice or they must have gone on holiday together I'm not sure. The only photos I've seen are the ones with Tamori with Mason Mount, with Christian Pulisic and with Tammy Abraham other names rumoured to be self-isolating include Jorginho, Ross Barkley, Emerson and Mishi Batshuayi. And obviously this is a huge blow to Chelsea's pre-season plans. But with 16 days till pre-season, they all should still be back for the first game against Brighton. The only issue is, are they going to be back for that game at full fitness? Because they are going to be spending at least two weeks all at their own yards. They might be training. Frank Lampard and Jody Morris and the lads might have them on their own little training regimen or something like that but regards to that it's still not going to be the same level of intensity as they would have if they were in a team training together with Morris with Lampard and with other coaching staff there to motivate them and push them further so we might not see any of these players back for Brighton they might need another week or two to get back to full post-match fitness which is annoying but if we look at the eight players that are being injured I don't think a lot of them would have been starting for us regardless if we just round them off. Ross Barkley definitely wouldn't have been starting. Jorginho I don't think would have been starting and I think he was rumoured with a couple moves away if the right bid came in as well. Emerson was meant to be sold. If anything, I think we should have sold him by now. That probably isn't going to happen for another two weeks which is jarring as hell but he should have been one of the ones that we sold as well. 
Uh, Fikayo Tomori, another one that wouldn't start. You should. I think he was also rumoured to be going on a loan as well when the Fikayo Tomori deal was being confirmed. So he wouldn't have started either. And neither would Tammy Abraham, who has dropped lower and lower down the pecking order as last season has gone. And if one wasn't going to start, it probably was going to be Olivier Giroud anyway. So neither of them would have started. Christian Pulisic would have started, but he's still nursing his injury from the FA Cup final. So he was realistically going to miss the first few games of the season anyway. So this don't really make much difference in his sense. Only real loss is Mason Mount because Mason Mount is still key to our midfield. He's still key to the way we press up high in the field and he's always the one that starts our, our press in midfield. So he would have probably still had a bit of a role to play. Also take into account the 2021 schedule and it is still a bit packed. Carabao Cup qualifiers come very quick after the Premier League season start and then the group stage is coming just as quick as well. So it, was gonna, so it is going to be cramped and I do hope that they're going to be back at least for the Carabao Cup qualifiers because if they're not and we have to rely on either youth players or we have to stretch out our first team who will be playing two or three times a week is literally the last way we want to start the season. So I hope these players come back quickly. It is just another barrier that Frank Lampard needs to work up around and the good thing is with all the reinforcements that we have made, it isn't really going to hurt us too bad. I know like there are going to be a couple clubs struggling with with uh, quarantine and people who are getting infected with the virus because they're all coming around from holiday. I think literally just in the last hour, Paul Pogba was... Uh, news came out that Pogba has now got the virus as well. I'm trying so hard not to say the word because I don't want to get demonetized. But you lot know what I mean when I say the virus. So it it is what it is. Biggest impact that this is going to have probably is on potential transfers out of the club. If we look through the names, Emerson was meant to be rumoured to join Inter Milan or to just go to Italy in general. And we know how hard hit Italy have been hit in 2020 with the virus. They've had over 200,000 infected. I think even their infected rate has started to take a little bit of a rise over the last few weeks, over the last few days. So they're going to start to becoming, to becoming a little bit worried. They might start to have a few more restrictions. I'm not sure if players, if people go to Italy and they come back, they'd have to self-isolate as well. But I think they do. They were one of the countries that were really strongly hit by it. So that will probably impact Emerson's transfer to Inter Milan. But the good thing is, Serie A's season doesn't start until a week after the Premier League season does. So with them having 16 days to come back to the Premier League, that turns into another 22 or 23 days. So he'll still have time to go back to Serie A and even have enough time to train. So he might even still be ready for the first match. Mishi Batshuayi is another one that could struggle with potential transfers due to his lockdown. He's been one of the names where you haven't even heard about him over the last few months. Frank Lampard really just wants him out of the door. I really don't know where we're going to send him to because I'll talk about it later with Leeds and everything. That was a club that was closely linked with him, but I don't know if that's happening now. But Mishi Batshuayi, that's going to probably impact any transfer fees or any length of time that it takes to get him out the door. Fikayo Tomori was another one that was linked with a loan out of the club. That's going to be on hold as well, which is also going to be a bit jarring. But if that's also, but if that also means he gets to stay and work with Thiago Silva a little bit longer after the lockdown's done and when he comes out of quarantine, then that's okay. Uh, this is a bit weird because we were trying to do this sell to buy thing that Matt Law was talking about weeks ago. And now we brought in Ben Chilwell and we haven't gotten rid of a left back. We were meant to be getting a centre back in. We were meant to be getting rid of a centre back before we brought one in. And now Thiago Silva's coming and we still got all our centre backs. So... I think all of our transfer activity is really going to be pushed to the final day, which is going to be a bit stressful, but I still think we could push most of these transfers through because most of the clubs do have genuine interest. Tamori has a lot of clubs that are interested in him. Um, Batshuayi had a few, not as much as Tamori. Tamori had a couple. Um, Emerson also had a few, but only a couple as well. And the good thing as well is deadline day has also been pushed to October the 5th, so it's not a case as this um this uh quarantine and everything like that has literally cancelled out all of these transfers and now we're stuck with a bunch of deadwood that we can't get rid of these players still can get sold so it's not anything too deep or anything too far so this is just something that's they're kicking the teeth for the brighton game for the friendly on sunday i'm really interested to see what chelsea team we see there probably see ziech and Werner get their first starts but i'm interested to see who replaces who in the bench and in the starting lineup as well but yeah, that's the end of that first piece of news. We'll round off the other two 
Rodrigo and Leeds could be reaching a 40 million pound agreement. I say Rodrigo and Leeds, Valencia and Leeds could be reaching a 40 million pound agreement or something like that for Rodrigo, which would put their interest in Batshuayi in the mud. Bit annoying. But uh, you don't really know what much else to say about that. If they're going for someone else, then they're probably not going to go for two strikers because then that means Patrick Bamford gets moved to a third-place striker. So I don't think Leeds and Batshuayi is going to happen after all. Also, Thiago Silva, medical should be due today. I'm thinking it might be confirmed today, but I'm not so sure. You just really need to keep posted on that one. But that's the end of all the news for today so far. Let me know your thoughts on the Chelsea players and do you think they're going to get sold? Do you think they'll be back in time for the start of the season? Just let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care. Up the Chelsea.